Prynhanda Canhadlev, Croesa Ganes Zichigid, Good Afternoon Conference, and a warm welcome to you all. I want to start by talking about two outstanding members of our party to whom we owe a debt of gratitude. Firstly, let me congratulate Ed Davey. In Ed Davey, we have a leader who I genuinely believe can inspire a new generation of Liberals and rebuild our party after these bruising years. Ed has been responsible for the biggest generational shift in renewable power, almost tripling the amount of electricity generated from green energy. Ed's experience as a carer, both as a teenager for his dying mother and now for his disabled son, shows who Ed is to the core kind, compassionate and dedicated. And as our leader, he is listening. He is visiting communities the length and breadth of our country. We have had the privilege already of welcoming him to Wales and we look forward to him returning soon. And Kirsty Williams, the sole Liberal voice around the Cabinet table. Thanks to Kirsty, Liberal Democrat ideas and beliefs are becoming law and government policy. Because of Kirsty, no child will go hungry this winter in Wales. Compare that to England, where Conservative MPs, including shamefully 13 from Wales, voted to stop children in England getting free school meals this winter. Kirsty has also reduced infant class sizes, developed the first ever Made in Wales curriculum, introduced the More Nurses Bill, raised standards, achieving our best ever PISA performance, increased the pupil development grant to its highest ever level to support poorer pupils. I'd also like to pay a personal tribute as well to Kirsty following her announcement that she will leave the Senedd next year. Kirsty, you've been a friend to everyone watching, and you've inspired even more. You've been a mentor to me in the good times and an encouragement in the bad times. So on behalf of all of us, thank you to you for everything you have done. Diolchen Varian. I want to now take you back a few years to a cold Welsh November day. I was door knocking on an estate in mid Wales and I came across a lady sat on her doorstep. She was having a cigarette and a coffee. I introduced myself as a Welsh Liberal Democrat and we talked for a while. She told me she had an eight year old and eight month old twins. She worked on a zero hours contract in a care home. Her husband worked night shift in a factory and that's how they managed the childcare. They had just heard that he was going to lose his job. She told me she just didn't know how they were going to cope. I didn't know what to say to her. I was someone who thought I could find answers to most things. Having worked for 25 years in child protection and childcare, I have been shockingly aware of children and families living in poverty. And yet here I was with this lady, and I did not know how to respond. Everything was stacked against her. She and her, her husband were working as hard as they could to get on in life. At that point in time, she had little hope for the future, and I had nothing to say to give her hope. Over 700,000 people in Wales live in poverty. It would take 10 Millennium Stadiums in Cardiff filled to capacity to hold them all. And for children in Wales, it's one quarter of our population, one in four children in our country. 25% of our children live in poverty. There is one town in North Wales with more food banks than supermarkets. And this was before COVID. This is before Brexit. So what if I could tell you that what we are proposing to develop here together 
will be the most radical programme to put to the people of Wales since the founding of the welfare states. What if I could tell you that we are going to give our nation hope? What if I could tell you here today, in conference, that over the next few months, in consultation with the people of Wales and with you, our party members, we will refine our programme together to build a better Wales for us all. It is our vision, once and for all, to tackle inequality, to tackle manipulation politics, to tackle climate change, and to transition from a low-paid small business economy into a highly skilled, high-paid green economy. The time has come not just to rebuild our party, but to build a movement to rebuild our nation. It is our vision to draw on the heritage of one of our greatest Liberal Party members, William Beveridge, and re-envision the Beveridge blueprint for our modern-day Welsh nation. Let's talk COVID. We know so many people who are affected by COVID. Those who have lost loved ones, those who have had their physical health affected, those who are lonely and struggling with isolation, those who have mental health challenges, those who have lost their jobs and are stressed with what the future may hold for them, their work and their families. Let's talk Brexit. With just one month to go, nearly at the final countdown, with absolutely no clarity of what it looks like for businesses, for our farmers, for our shops and our communities. And there are those of our politicians who are wedded to manipulation politics, who will have us believe that it's going to be a huge success. We know that whatever the outcome, every divorce has consequences for personal prestige, consequences for social standing, consequences for income generation, let alone the consequences for children and families. Well, our divorce from Europe, our biggest ever trading partner, will have consequences for our society, consequences for our standard of living, consequences for our economy and for our businesses. And we are not just facing Brexit. We are still learning how to face the terrible consequences of living with a global pandemic. All this while people and businesses and the economy flounders further. Recession, unemployment and poverty are real and immediate. Let's talk about the economy. Even before COVID and before Brexit, our Welsh economy's long-term problems are well documented. In Wales, we have low productivity. We have a sustained lack of investment. We have a declining working age population. 60% of Welsh jobs are generated by small and medium enterprises. Welsh workers have the lowest take-home pay in the United Kingdom, and in rural Wales, pay is even lower. And all of this before we talk about the inevitable consequences of our climate emergency. What if I could tell you, green economy businesses are the fastest growing and most profitable sector of our industry in the UK economy? What if I could tell you that in Wales, we are overflowing with green economy resources. We have coastal water resources. We have infinite on and offshore wind power resources. We have massive tidal power resources. We have rivers and waters, mountains and valleys. What if I could tell you it is our intention to transition our economy to a vibrant, profitable green economy with profitable businesses who will generate the wealth to transform our country. What if I could tell you, by envisioning the beverage blueprints, we will introduce a universal basic income across Wales 
to tackle our systemic issue of chronic poverty. This is all part of the big picture. We can transform our country and we will. We can eliminate food banks and we will. We can eradicate homelessness and we will. We can stop the need to apply and reapply for benefits over and over again and we will. We can restore dignity to those in our society less fortunate than ourselves and we will. But this is just one part of the big picture in transforming our nation. Let's not just stop there. Let's do what Beveridge did. Let's tackle poverty, health and social care, housing and our environment, opportunity and loneliness. Conference, let's talk green business growth and development. Let's talk farming and supporting our rural and agricultural areas with sustainable and realistic business opportunities. Let's talk about making sure our small shops and towns become the focus of our thriving communities. Let's talk jobs, high paid jobs. Let's talk the economy, harnessing a green economy. Let's balance this with a massive job generating green agenda where Wales is ahead in transitioning to a greener, cleaner lifestyle. So where are we? In the middle of a global pandemic, in the middle of a business bankruptcy crisis, about to be hit by Brexit. Over a quarter of our children live in poverty and irreversible climate change is looming. And the Welsh Government has limited fiscal powers under our current system of devolution. But what if I could tell you that we are proposing the biggest constitutional shake-up since the Norman Conquest? Real federalism. In our view, independence is a concept which makes us smaller. And I do understand people when they say they want to separate from Westminster. But we have a bigger vision. What if I could tell you that we want something more radical, more progressive and more financially rewarding than independence? What if I could tell you we want a partnership of equals with Westminster and between the four nations of a federal United Kingdom? What if I could tell you we will no longer succumb to divide and rule tactics from the dinosaurs of Downing Street, which we have experienced so recently with Brexit. Let's go higher. My vision is to balance the needs of our people with the needs of our planet, to concentrate on jobs and hope for the future. Truly, when it comes down to it, all that our people of Wales want all that we all want. As human beings, no matter where we are or who we are, is a secure job, a decent house, food on the table, the odd night out and a happy family. And to achieve that, it is our duty as Welsh politicians to balance our human needs for health, housing, employment, education and social services with those of our environment. It is our duty as a people to co-create a safe, protective, supportive, biodiverse and interconnected environment and economy throughout our land. And to borrow a few words from the boss, also known as Bruce Springsteen, it is our job as politicians, it is our very purpose as politicians to, quote, measure the distance between dream and reality. So we, as the Welsh Liberal Democrat Party under my leadership, we pledge to you from this day forward to the people of Wales that in everything we do, in every sphere we work for you, the well-being of our people and our planet comes first. Let us go out to the electorates the voters, the people, including the lady I talked to on the doorstep, and tell them all, if you believe what we believe, join us. 
if you believe what we believe, vote for us. Adun de di bauba ma ana can hadlo. I bauba nain blind. I bauba nain loud. Os te chin credi, be den in credi. Rhaid gwneud hyn efan gilydd. And I say to everyone here in conference, to everyone in our party, to everyone in our country, if you believe what we believe, let's get this done together. Let us build a better Wales together. We measure the distance between dream and reality. We leave nobody behind. Thank you very much. Diolch yn